Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, we'll take a look at JetTabs. JetTabs is a set of croc block. You can get it as a separate plugin or as a part of croc block package. And they have so many improvements that the Elementor tabs don't have. In fact, you can comfortably say they've picked up where Elementor tabs left off. Let me show you that. So this is the croc block or the JetTabs tabs widget. I'll just drag it in and right below that, I'll also drag in Elementor's tabs widget. So this is the Elementor tabs widget, I just dragged in and the moment I drag in, this is my croc block widget, the one on the top and the second one is my Elementor tabs widget. So the moment I drag in, you can clearly see that there are icons on tabs, right? So you can pick the icon right next to your tab. You can change the icon for each individual tab. You can also get that on Elementor tabs, I've explained that in the Elementor tabs tutorial. So it's there as a plugin and not just that. A lot of people ask on the Elementor Facebook group how to make the second tab open when the page loads, right? It needs a bit of JavaScript code, but guess what? In Jet tabs, you can simply toggle this on and this tab will be active by default. And the basic functionality of tabs is to keep one tab open at a time. That's the reason why they're called tabs. So you can either keep tab one open or tab two active. If you pick all of them active, the last one will be the most active one. So if I pick tab one, if I select tab two active and tab three active, obviously it will always be tab three. And not just icon, you can pick the active state of the tab. So if you want the, this tab to be active when the page loads or reloads, you can pick this toggle. You can also use SVG as an image right next to the title. So let me pick a random image. I'll just show you that. If I pick that, you can see this image is inserted right next to the tab title. This is usually good with SVG icons. So if you want to have icons right next to tab title, you can simply upload them as an SVG image. And the tab title can be plain text or it can be linked to a dynamic field. This is one feature that the Elementor tabs widget doesn't have. You can see the tab title is simple text field and the same goes with the description the description or the content within the jet tabs can be a template or an editor if you pick an editor the content can also be made dynamic and it can be linked to any of these or even a sorry a custom field so three things that are clear when you get the jet tabs plugin is that you can select the active tab or the tab that should be active when you reload the page or actually load the page you can pick an icon to your tab title you can make the label or the tab title dynamic you can also pick the content type for the tab content you can simply pick a section just like that but with elementor tab widget it's plain text and plain editor of course you can embed short codes but having a drop down of all the templates that i have is really convenient here so when you choose the content type as a template you get the drop down of all your Elementor templates. You can pick any of them. I just picked the subscription box and here it is. It's that easy embedding templates within tabs and within settings. You can also change the position from left, top, right, bottom. On the other hand, with Elementor tabs widget, it's just vertical or horizontal. So if it's vertical, it's automatically positioned onto the left. There's no way to position it onto the right. Believe me, these are some of the most common questions asked on the Elementor Facebook group. How do I put tabs on to the right? How do I put tabs on top, on the bottom? Well, with Jet Tabs, it's just click of a button. So just like that, if I select right, I just have all these put onto the right side of the page. Top looks better. And you can also select the type of event. If it's a hover based or click based, you should always choose click based because that's more convenient. It won't confuse users as to what's happening. You can also choose to auto switch between tabs. Again, this is not a recommended practice. If you auto switch, user will get confused, but the option is still there. You can also pick to not have any active tabs at all. So all the tabs will be closed. Again, this is not possible with Elementor. So you can have none of the tabs active. 
You can also use Ajax for loading a template. By Ajax, it means it won't load the template instantly, but rather when you click on the particular tab, it will load that particular template. This is a neat little way of optimizing things. So within style tab, you can pick background type for tab and for tabs control, you can choose alignment. Believe me, even this is one of the most common questions on the group. So you can put the tabs control or the titles wherever you want. They're called tabs control because when you click on them, it opens up the respective tab. That's the reason why they're often called as tab controls. So you can align the tabs controls. You can also add a background to your tabs controls. If you've watched the Elementor tabs tutorial, I've explained how to target tab titles and possibly add backgrounds. All those controls are presented in the style tab. So you'd never have to write CSS for using jet tabs. So that's an added bonus. An image, you can pick an image for it. You can also set padding for the tab control. By tab control, it's this particular strip right there. Again, you can come back to tab control item. So it refers to each item. You can set icon margin. You can see the icons are separated from the particular title. You can also set image margins if there is an image picked as an SVG or something. You can also customize the icon position if you want it right next to the title, you can have them or above the title, you can have them that way. Again, there are a lot of state styles. So normal, hover, active, you can change various properties of it. And you can also change the tab content. And the tab content will only be applicable only if you have editor selected. If you embed a template, the tab content, all these fields won't have any change. So for tab two, let's go back to content. I'll pick editor here. And now I'll go to style tab, tabs content. I'll click on tab two. Let's change the typography and you'll see, you'll start to see the changes right there. But Watch what happens when I change the typography here. No particular change with this template because it's just instance of another template. We just embedded it using a shortcode. It's just the same as embedding it, except we have selected it from the list of a dropdown. So you get all the granular controls that you want for your tabs. You can align the tab title. You can put whatever content you want. You can also pick which tab must be active or if no tab should be active at all, if that's what you need. But wait, that's just the tabs widget. You get more with jet tabs. You also get accordions and you also get image accordions. In Elementor, there are two widgets called toggle and accordion. Well, the classic accordion is exactly the same. Based on the settings that you choose, it will either act as a toggle or an accordion. Accordion is just having one tab open at a time, whereas toggle can be multiple tags. All that can be done using classic accordion. So this is also another widget that you get with the jet tabs plugin or the croc block package so i just dragged in the classic accordion widget and again here i can clearly see the icons right next to the title i can also make them active so i can make a couple of toggles active even this is one of the most asked questions how do i make this toggle one and toggle to active and the rest all closed in my accordion or my toggle right so that's only possible with jet tabs plugin again here you can choose the active icon and the normal icon the label can be dynamic and the content type can also be dynamic if you choose editor you can also link it to a dynamic field and so those are the items again when you go back to the settings you can choose whether these should be collapsible or not so if you turn this off you can close all tabs so it will work as the toggle widget and if you turn it back on at least one should be active right so not you cannot close all of them at least one should be active here even if I try to close this, no action. So that's what this toggle does. You can use different effects for the show effect. You can also use Ajax for template loading. And even here, you have ton of controls. Toggle, again, if you choose the background type, that's for the whole toggle. Toggle control is the topmost strip that has the title. Let's go there. Let's click on toggle control. So from here, you can change the icon position either to the left or to the right. You can also add a padding 
to the toggle control which is this one 10 pixels 20 pixels or whatever you want you can also choose the alignment of the toggle title which is also called toggle control you can also choose all the text settings you can also choose a border for toggle control and go to toggle content and here you can change typography text color all the stuff that you want into excellent controls right you get all the things that you want with jet tabs it's really awesome you can pick which should be active on load which should not be active on load you can also pick a template to show up as or toggle content or an accordion content or a tab content that's really neat and there's one more widget in the jet tabs plugin so the classic accordion will serve as both toggles and accordions and the same limitations are there in elementor you don't have dynamic fields for the title and content Whereas in jet tabs, you have dynamic fields for both title and content. Again, the last widget in jet tabs is the image accordion. Click on this, drag this around. You can pick the images again for here. You can pick the active image. So I'll just pick a couple of images for my accordion. I'll pick item two, pick this one. In the Elementor basics accordion tutorial, I also showed you how to make an accordion using unlimited elements. You can check that out. Links to those will be in the description. Since I've picked this one should be active. It's already active. You can go to settings. You can choose the orientation. You can choose between horizontal or vertical, whichever way you like. You can also change the active size to whatever value you want in this whole container. You can specify the value or the amount that the active widget should take. And this is also hover based as of now. You can change that. You can go to style. The action button can be al alignment can be changed. The descriptions alignment and all its properties can be changed and the same thing with content you can put it at the top at the bottom or in the middle so for the item we can also choose item gutter which is effectively the space between the image images and also customize all that and that's really neat so that's all you get with jet tabs and they have powerful controls to help you get things done with all things accordions tabs and even toggles that's it for now that's a quick overview of jet tabs plugin by croc block stay tuned for more on croc block there's a playlist called croc block tutorials watch that for more information on croc block i'll talk to you in the next one peace and subscribe if you didn't already catch you later